Hello and welcome to our final video for control engineering. And this is one more empiric method to tune the system, okay? to tune a closed loop. This time we're going to talk about a, a tuning rule of three persons, Keen, Horns and Reswick are those three names. Yeah? They developed this. They show you how this is working. This time we do not we do not need to get to stability issues and something like this. Yeah? And we do even have different set of parameters when we have with overshoot or without overshoot and so on. But I will show you, okay? I will show you. First, we've talked about analyzing the system. Yeah? We talked about analyzing the system, and it's this is exactly what we do, what where is the starting point? Yeah? We do a correcting variable jump. Okay. I will show you. I'll show you. So here's the time, and here's the correcting variable y. Yeah. At a certain point, this will stay constant. At a certain point in time, we make a change in the correcting variable mm, to analyze the system simply. Mm. This change will be will have a certain height yeah, and we observe the reaction of the system. The regulated variable will be somewhere. Yeah. Then here it will start to change then it will get stable again. That's the reaction of the regulated variable x. Here we do have the change of the reflect of the regulated variable. And this is the gain factor of the system multiplied by the change of, of the correcting variable. I can read the gain factor of the system directly out of this response. What else can I read out? I will use here this infliction point and the tangent of the infliction point. Then here is my ground then I have two, two times this time. And this time. This is dg, the rise time. And this is du, the delay time. Okay. So actually, these are the things I can read out. We've done this, especially this du and t, tu and tg, if you remember, uh, we've done this when we analyze the system if it's controllable or if it's good controllable or hard controllable. Or, yeah, we've done this. It's exactly the same. Exactly the same. Uh, well, so we end up with three different parameters out of our... We have this ks, yeah, steady gain of our system. We have the TU, delay time of our system, and we have the rise time of our system, TG. And with these three parameters, we can get the parameters of different types of, of controllers. Yeah? So these three persons, Keen, Reswick and Horner, they developed uh, rules for this. Yeah? So. Let's have a look on these rules. Whoop. These are the rules. Okay. You see, if we have this x here, this is the rise time divided by the steady and the, and the delay time. If we want to have a P controller, just a P controller, we optimize this proportional gain factor and this shall be 0 
multiplied by this x. Yeah? If we want to have a good disturbance transfer behavior. Yeah? If we want to have a good a reference value behavior, we have the same. Yeah? These are the Störung means disturbance and Führung means reverence. Yeah? Reverence value. So this is the reverence behavior. This is the this is the disturbance behavior. These sets here, they are for 20% overswing. Okay? And these sets here are for aperiodic, so no overswing at all. You see, they are lower usually. Of course, the controller needs to be not as fast. Remember, there is this balance between stability and, and, and speed. If we want to have speed, we have a little bit overswing. If we can be slower, we have no overswing. This we see in these parameters also. Yeah? So there are rules for a P controller here. Yeah? There, are, there are rules for a PI controller here. And there are rules for a PID controller. And that's it. You know? Measure something. Analyze. Use these values you have analyzed. Adjust parameters and that's it. Okay. There are controllers out there which can do self-adjusting controllers. They often use these methods. Yeah. Very often. Yeah. So that's it. That's control engineering. Yeah. At least what I am going to tell you about control engineering. There is a lot of more things. Like I said, there is hardly, or I would even say there is no system which cannot be controlled. However, then the control structures are, structures are very complex. Yeah? These ones are the basics, uh, I would say. Yeah. So, now nothing more is left than say, Thank you for listening about control engineering. Have a good time. Goodbye.